Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial where we are going to draw the great tit and we will be using a, a parcel pencils but also a fine liner 0 0.1 as a paper I'm using a mid gray uh, console pastel paper and of course you can draw along in real time uh, when you will support me on my patreon page and uh, to make me uh, be able to make more tutorials for you now this uh, great tit uh, I think uh, they also call it a titmouse or chickadee uh, is a, a very a very beautiful bird and when I see them I always have to stop and watch because they are uh, they are always joyful and looking for food and I just love them so I really really wanted to draw this and we are going to make this uh, a quite realistic drawing but I will also be paying attention uh, about uh, all the background because I've had a lot of questions uh, from people that are always uh, saying from well I uh, went to draw some kind of animal for instance but I don't know what to do with the background so a special uh, uh, attention is taken to this now here I've made a little mistake this is the back of the bird and here on the side you can just see the other wing so I corrected this and that is the fun uh, about the setup with the pastel pencil because you can correct it when you make a, a, a very a big mistake just erase it out that's all possible with the pastel pencils now this little titmouse is uh, sitting on a branch and it is winter time and what you get instantly is a little bit of perspective so uh, the, the little titmouse has something to sit on and I am drawing in uh, that kind of bush that uh, leaves uh, the berries on them when it's winter time and here in front I will put uh, a lot of detail in that branch that he is sitting on because uh, this will uh, give you a great perspective and uh, uh, a good um, uh, feel of uh, what is close by and what is farther away now here I'm putting in uh, the little cheeks that will be white and once I have my bird uh, standing there as I would like it I pick up that Stettler uh, fine liner. It doesn't have to be a Stettler, but just make this make this fine liner as small as possible. And this one is 0.1. And what I'm doing now is I place in the lines that are uh, that I I really really want to keep in this drawing. Once I start putting in uh, the pastel. Now the lines of the fine liner will stay there so uh, that is very helpful once you want to draw a uh, well kind of uh, realistic as possible bird. I also use that fine liner for that little eye and I'm uh, sparing out a little dot where the shine uh, comes in on that eye and those little feathers just around that eye and the marking of that white cheek uh, just cuts through that eye so this is a, a very very important detail uh, the beak is always a little bit complicated I think um, the, the lower beak is somewhat shorter than uh, the upper beak and 
uh, I will try to make it as sh sharp as possible so that's also a, a very nice uh, thing to do this with that fine liner another very important detail is that paw you can just see one the other one uh, like his, his legs are, are spread it out so you can only see one paw and what is so very nice is to draw in those little reptile uh, skin the bird of course uh, comes from the reptiles once millions of years ago so I want to place in that uh, paw with as much detail as possible and also here in that part of the branch where he is sitting on here the branch goes under the body and this part will be covered in shadow when you finished uh, drawing in all the lines with the uh, fine liner then you pick up your lightest gray pastel pencil and then you carefully uh, draw around all those little berries and all around the, the, the chickadee and uh, spare out uh, the berries and fill in all the light that is behind that bird Uh, the effect of uh, the berries in the back is that you should keep that as vague as possible and when you start coloring in your uh, chickadee first draw out the the markings that are white so those are the feathers here uh, by his butt and on the paws and also here is a distinct marking on the feathers on the wing and of course that white cheek the dot in the eye that's the little shine and the feathers in the cheek I simply draw out one by one and I let the color of the paper shine through a little bit so you actually get a feel of feathers in that cheek marking then for the head well <coughs> this is black of course and um, I take a darkest blue that I own and I put in an underlayment of dark blue dark blue is, is the, the shiny color of black so don't go in all black there first put in a little bit of dark blue I also put it a little bit on the wings and a little shine with the light gray and uh, the tip of the tail and the back is lightish gray blue then I take black and I go over the head again here is that black feather on the side and then simply place in a little bit of yellow and blue for that wing now the belly of course is yellow but uh, it's not only one color yellow I put in a little bit of gray a little bit of light yellow and here I'm placing moss green for uh, the back and the side just a little bit of light yellow dark green also dark green be between the yellow feathers uh, on the body and then I use kind of the same colors for that branch and I put in the detail for the little ball a 
as you continue your drawing and you will see that here here on the branch I'm using moss green and burnt sienna while the back of the branch I keep out the detail as much as possible I let that fade out and the berries in front I put in with a little bit of uh, burnt sienna a little bit of red and light yellow some dark dots but the other berries I do not put in a lot of detail I just put in a little bit of red and then go over it with the light yellow now the whiteness of uh, the light that is underneath the bird I put in extra uh, so that the little bird pops out even more but for the background on top of the drawing I'm using light blue now this gives that that extra dimension of uh, atmospherical perspective and it's the blue combining with the yellow of the little bird and the red of the little fruits here in front that gives it that extra perspective and should make your drawing a great success well I hope you enjoy these tips and you will give this drawing a try of course and also I hope you will give this video a big thumbs up and uh, I hope to see you again maybe on my patreon page but anyways next Friday and I will be back with a new tutorial